Welcome to Sunburn Albino Plays End of the Gungeon Episode 5. I'm going to be the Hunter this time again. Again. I usually swap between the Hunter and the Marine. The Pilot's just bad. Doesn't really have any benefits going for him. You can hold two active items, sure, but... And then the Convict's damage buff when taking damage is something you'd want to avoid ever having to use anyway. Even though she starts with a sawed-off shotgun, it's not as good as the crossbow. And the crossbow's not very good, but, you know, it can be a first-floor helper. Until you get... Like, I like to use it to sort just carry me to my first chest, where there's a better gun in it, hopefully. Plus, you know, you're more likely to find items, because the dog will help you. Not as often as I would prefer sometimes. But it tries. Instant... Yeah, we're just gonna leave that there. Yep, you already found me a key. See how nice you are? Son of a bitch. You weren't supposed to, like... You were supposed to, like, target the place where I had been before I started rolling, but instead you followed me. That's not... That's not what we agreed on. Stop being bulky. Thank you. Who, uh, who's, who's left? Where'd you... Oh, there you are. I like that they tell you if the room's big. And it's been a while since you've seen anybody. Bad chill. <laughs> what a great shot. 32 money. Okay, what are you gonna give me? What can I look forward to trying to save up for? A lodestone amulet. Amulets tend to be good. Oh, hey, you're one of the NPCs I saved, and you appear to be a shopkeeper. And you speak in a dialect that is unreadable by me. So that's cool. Okay. Mega Dowser for 28. Dog, get out of my way. I need to look at these. Gungeon Ant. I mean, that's what I'm gonna buy. And a barrel. I don't need a barrel. Gungeon Ant for 36 it is. Let's get uh, four money. And make it work. Great shots. Kill it. Kill everything. I mean, the beginning of every Gungeon run is gonna be about the same. You know, just using basic weaponry to get to the point where the run will then branch off in a hopefully interesting direction. That's a lot of money. So let's go back here and buy that Gungeon Ant. I've got a hair inside my nose, and I don't like that. I mean, I want this amulet. I want to hopefully buy that as well as this. What is this? It's a gun. That I did not expect. Let's shoot it. Alright. Let's see how well that translates to actual... Knife shield use again to launch. That's not very good. It's not... I mean, it is kind of bad. I mean, it's... It's, it's alright. But, you know... Let's... Alright, let's see how you perform, Gungeon Ant. They drop pools of something on... Okay, it is extremely flammable. Oh, now it's fire, but it was not before. Oh, so I'm shooting it's... Oh, I see. So at first I'm shooting the head of the ant. And it's like the bugs and they're like, you know, spraying this liquid around. Then I reload and then I start shooting out of its asshole and it farts fire. So it ignites the stuff. So yeah, I'll reload and then we're going back to poison stuff. Oh, what do you have here? A shrine to Iko Sahedrex, the great arbiter. Let's roll the bones. Roll of the dice, enfeebled, cleansed. Enfeebled plus cleansed. I wish there was a way for you to tell me that. 
Because they never really... They don't let me know what my what that does. Like if I go to guns, go to items. It's not in items, it's not in enemies, and it's not in bosses. I don't know what cleansed means, but I know what enfeebled means. I mean, I know what cleansed means, but I don't know what it means in the context of this game. I know what enfeebled means means I do less damage. Yeah! And the fire just by itself is even just a good bullet by itself. I mean, not really, but considering how long it took to kill that thing, but still. Reload and turn it into fire. There we go. Then reload and turn it back into this. I like how it works. Why launch? I could just, like, run around and hit them with it. Alright, I mean, I'm gonna go back to the crossbow for now. Oh, is that the elephant gun? Hell yeah. It shoots elephants! <laughs> what do you know? This has got to be the best sniper. An inelegant weapon for a less civilized age. These guns were once used to make pianos out of teeth. I'm sorry, no, the elephant gun I remember from Borderlands was a sniper. Son of a bitch. Better be like four sniper shots that are like all powerful. Let's, let me see. If I hit it with three of them, I mean it's such a tight spread that it is actually kind of... Okay, well the elephant gun just very simply became our boss killer. Or it could possibly be a room clearer. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna use the Gungeon Ant on the boss and just light that bitch on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Alright, well, it does no damage. I guess we can take comfort in that. Jesus. Hold on, I'm getting to the gun that I actually want to use. Aw, oh, you come on now. Reload. It does good damage, provided I don't completely miss an entire... Oh, my God. Getting hit by it. Oh, that's... You glitched out there a little bit there, didn't you? Yeah, but you're dead. Oh, Enfeebled made me lose my health. Just kidding. I figured that out now. What is this? Plus one bullets. Hell yes. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up ammo for the elephant gun. I don't like the ant anymore. I just need kind of, like, direct consequences as a result of firing my gun, as opposed to over time. But I'm going to come here and get, get this amulet. Blank knock back up. Probably don't need to read it then. Never mind. Didn't want that. That's a waste of time. Gungeon Ant, however, is... Really my only means of room clearing in terms of actual enemies. Hordes. Maybe if the elephant gun had more bullets in a clip. If it could, if I like, if it has two, if it had four, it would be great. That would be pretty great. Yeah, the bitch down there wants ten credits. I'm still not giving them to him. Instant shop. Mailbox. Didn't know that was a gun. Litchy Tringerfinger. 
Okay, I like that you're selling guns, finally. True to your name. I appreciate that. Oh. Yeah, it launches them in the direction I'm facing, because of course it does. Yes, be set on fire. Like it. Ah. Uh, it takes too long to reload if you just want to shoot, like, one toxic thing. Just keep burning until you die. Okay. Appreciate the blank, I suppose. Is there like a maximum number of blanks you can hold? I've never had more than four, I don't think. But that's not because of anything. Fire! Fire the flames! Through the fire and the flames! I mean, that's not how the song goes, but you understand. Through the fire and the flames we carry on. Da bam, bam, bam. Remix. Alright, well I was thinking we'd get hit by every enemy in this room. And then add that to our bucket list. Or check that off our bucket list. Oh no. I don't have a choice anymore. Because I have no health. I disagree with the fact that you bounced back the first shot you had already opened. Alright, it's elephant gun time because I'm going to die otherwise. Oh, that's a... that's strong. Okay, that's not. Yes. Oh, that's so good, actually. I guess I'll refill the Gungeon Ant even though I'm not really going to use it. How tough are ya? I withstood three clips of elephant gun ammo and didn't die. Oh, right this way, sir. Oh, good shot. Oh, these are not the ones that try and knock me back, just noticed. They are the ones that do damage when they touch me. Like most enemies. But you keep giving me half hearts to keep me going. Don't know what I would do without you, game. I mean, I wouldn't be playing you, so it's really kind of not the question that you'd ask. Or not the sentiment to bring up. I'll figure that room out. And by figure out, I mean I'll look that room up. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Okay, we have hollow points. I assume that they're hollow points, because I know what hollow points are. I mean, not necessarily sniper ammo, just like they're hollow points. They make the gun pierce more? Something like that? They increase the damage of the bullet, I think I can objectively say. Whether there is a more specific effect or not. I mean, wow. Just the knockback because of my ammo lid is actually pretty helpful in rooms like this. That's a shitty chest. There's a chance. I was gonna say, there's a chance that something in there was worth a damn. It was only brown. It was brown, so I don't care about the fact that it's gone. If I were to get a key anyway, I'd use it on that other chest. Which was green, I believe. But yeah, give me this elephant gun as many times, as often in a run as you possibly can. Because I'm liking it. Loses its effectiveness at range a little bit. Where does this ammo go to the crossbow, I guess? 
We are stacked. I just need something that increases my reload speed. Or increases the bullets clip. But right now I'm feeling pretty calm. Oh boy. Like I'm feeling like I'm, I'm doing a leisure activity right now and it's not really a fight for survival as much as it is just a romp through a dungeon. Without a care in the world. I should go this way first. Time. Close enough. Oh yeah, blow up everything. That's it? That's all you got for me? This room's gigantic. I'm disappointed. I don't need more money. Alright, there's the boss. Ooh, what's going on down here? Why didn't I go here? Why do I not remember what this room is? Oh, it's Link! Kind of. I mean, it, it basically is. I think I've seen that before. Oh, hello there! I seem to have gotten turned around. This map doesn't seem to be accurate, at least not anymore. As I'm sure you've noticed, but the walls keep shifting. It's not like the other dungeons I've explored at all. Oh wow, you've already got a map of this floor! I do? Thank you, you should take this. A strange old man gave it to me. Heart bottle. Thanks. I definitely did not buy a map of this floor. Everything alright? Why are you down here? I dropped a small key down a grate and came down here to get it. Well, great. I mean, I'm gonna take your stuff. Hands off, pilgrim! Hey, listen. Stop that. Yeah, this is Link. I want his stuff. If I shoot him, can I have his stuff? Like, I kind of... I want it. Ah, whatever. I wouldn't want to kill Link. Especially a Link that can talk. Okay, elephant gun time. Oh, Shoot that shit. Now that did all right damage, I guess. Oh no 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 no! You're you're you're. I'm, the, the walls are closing in. Okay. All right. The key to avoiding this is to stay close because some of those shots don't turn homing until they go at range a little bit. So that's that's what that's really the difference between this boss being hard and just being a normal fight. Alright, shoot that. Oh, nope. Probably should have done that at a different time. In fact, I definitely should have. Alright. I mean, I'm just a goddamn acrobat when it comes to dodging these bullets. Okay, good. Well, I was gonna say, like, don't do the screamy one when you force me to be at range here. What did I just say? Okay, but the poison just wore off, so we can get in here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just about missed that one. Alright, we're fine. This strikes me as a fight that I can beat without taking damage. Quick, shoot them all. Oh, yeah, that's act that does a lot of damage if you hit him with most of them. Yes, sir. Take that health upgrade. And the armor and the half heart. Rubidine prototype. Oh, yeah, this gun. It's not great, but it could be a room clear. Something to use instead of my elephant gun to save ammo. I like End of the Gungeon. I like it a lot. I don't know how long the series is going to last. I've made grand promises with stuff before that petered out real quick. But 
I will play it for as long as I continue to enjoy it. There still hasn't been any Darkest Dungeon, because there still hasn't been any Darkest Dungeon patch that fixes the crash. I, can, I just can't be sure that it's going to work. But I'm sure eventually, excuse me, I'm, a, I'm sure eventually that will, I will come back to that. I mean, after all, I'm, like, I'm at the champion missions. Like, this is where it gets gritty, and this is where the wheat, the wheat, is separated from the shaft. Chaff. Excuse me. Claire. I won't stand for this any longer. If this passes the Senate, I'm going to be pissed off. Fuck you, Claire. Oh. <laughs> uh. I mean, Frank Underwood plays video games, so, like, you can imagine him, like, online, like, Do you know who you're speaking to? I'm the President of the United States of America, so fuck you. I'm not good with the impression yet. I can't stick with it. But I'm gonna get there. I mean, it's day one. Day one is never the best day when it comes to practicing things, I can tell you that. I'm sure anybody could tell you that in regard to anything. Well, you know what, kid? I had sex with your mother last night, and then I passed a legislative bill that prevents women from having the right to choose. So she had to keep my baby, and now he's your little brother. So suck on that. Even though he's Democrat, so he would never do that, but he would never pass a thing like that, as I said, is what I was saying. It doesn't matter if there's a logical disconnect, it's a joke. They don't have to make sense. You just have to have the right idea. I mean, they kind of have to make sense. I mean, they pretty much have to make sense. This fucking table, get out of my way. Well, you know what, kid? I had sex with your mother. Like, just just imagining him saying it like that. With, like, such, dis like, prideful disdain. That's funny to me. I want to see it happen. I want Kevin... Sp Kevin Spacey's been in Advanced Warfare. I want to see him playing Advanced Warfare as Frank Underwood. Like, a video of that. Where he just insults children. That would be a terrific video. Ah, uh, you weren't supposed to explode. Claire. Like, just saying Claire is, like, my best attempt at getting into that question. Claire. Like the way season three ends. Claire. And now she's just walking away. Alright, who's left? You... You that explode? I just got hit because I killed him and then the machine didn't stop firing. I just got hit twice. That is some garbage. That is some goddamn dookie. What is this? We got a box. Just a box. Yeah, give me that back. Okay, so obviously it's the Metal Gear Solid box. So it's just like the last concealment item I had. It doesn't seem to do anything else. I mean, I assume that it does. I mean, I know I picked it up and then I threw it back down, but do they let me look at it? No. Be wary of using it, as it is believed to bring upon the anger of the jammed. I don't know what that means. Bullets are precisely one better than normal bullets. Is that damage? I don't know. I should have looked at that like a long time ago. Damn right. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go through this door. I wanna see what this guy's selling. If it's something good, then I'm gonna buy it. 
that I'm gonna drive away in my Lincoln. That's probably not relevant anymore. Cog of Battle, I'm gonna buy that. Active re- oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the Gears of War thing. I remember Active Reload, people, because I didn't, I didn't know what it was before. But now I remember it, because people said what it is. And it's like, but like, I already had that information, it just wasn't in an accessible place at the time. But that's, uh, you reload, and then you press square, like, before, in the right spot, before you're done reloading, then you get a faster reload. I played Gears of War 3. I didn't beat it. And that's the only one I played. But I, I have, I have done that. Okay, given where the actual like line is, it doesn't seem like it increases it, it at all, really. Like, how much faster could I really, as opposed to just letting it go? What does that save me? Like, probably like not even a third of a second in time. Which people would love to say, oh, you know, that can make all the difference. No, it can't. I mean, I'm gonna do it out of habit now, but... It's not because I think it's helpful. And I missed, so that's cool. Oh, but then somebody said, like, oh, but it, it gives you more damage, too. But does it? But does it actually do that? Like, it did that in Gears of War, but does it do it here? Let me see. Enables active... Re it doesn't, yeah. It just says active reload. Doesn't say that it makes it more stronger. More stronger. Just, uh... Just that it's slightly faster. I would have to think that it does have the damage buff then. Just because that's the only way it can actually be useful. Oh, I missed. Of course I did. I just wanted to see what would happen. Oh, nice. Thanks for the armor. And the money. I've only got 31 of those bullets left. Dungeon Ant is so bad. I mean, it's not. It's not bad, it's just not my kind of gun. Like, that's really what's wrong with it, is that it's not my kind of gun. Alright. I think we have enough elephant gun to make this boss work. Except probably not. But we're gonna try. Yeah, it's the tank. Alright. All right, power. Damn it. That's not what I meant to press. Okay, I did it correctly there. I don't know why they're saying that it was a red one. I remember that one. It's because sometimes I'm pressing square to reload, and sometimes it's just reloading by itself. Dude. Dude, knock it off. It's almost dead, though. There we go. Uh, that almost cost me my entire life, but it's fine. And we just got a bunch of health back. I have one bullet left on this thing. And I have 120 bullets left on this thing. <gasps> yeah, fight saber! I got this on an off-camera one once. Run once. Quite good. It's powerful, and when it reloads, it deflects... While you're reloading, it deflects bullets. Which is, uh... That's, that's, a, good, that's a good thing to have happen. So the elephant gun still my boss item. I think I'm gonna use the fight saber for room clearing. If uh, there we go. It's gonna say if it ever starts again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, knock off the lasers. Alright, 
mind. I will show off the bullet killing eventually. You spawn the skeletons? No, sir. Does killing you kill the skeleton? I think it just did. No, it does, but it makes... But you have to, like, still kill the skull afterwards, all right? Yeah, that's what that's... That's what that's about. Is that everybody? Let's keep on keeping on. I don't want to end the episode yet. Like, we'll see how far we can get. Well, I mean, you know... Well, what I'm saying is... I don't know how long we are for this world. So I'm not comfortable, like, trying to push it into... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you... There's a trophy for dodge rolling into an enemy that's frozen and killing it. That was my chance. Because this gun doesn't freeze, but apparently somehow they got frozen. I'll be on the lookout. I mean, I know it was those ice block guys. Bitch. I am Anakin Skywalker. Or Darth Maul. Or Darth Vader. Or Kylo Ren. Or Daisy Ridley, who that's actually the actor's name and not whoever she plays. That shows how much I know. Which is not a lot, because I've only seen one Star Wars movie, and that was forced upon me in film as lit class. I'm not a fan. It's not my kind of thing. It's because it's old. I don't like old things. And I don't like new things based on old things, either. No chest, of course not. Oh, no, no, no. Kill. Kill you. The blade itself, I don't think, does damage to enemies. You just have to reflect the bullets. Which is fine. Well, that was a good example of that blocking a lot of bullets, but not quite enough. I didn't see anything hit me. Even now, I still don't know what hit me. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.